Well, hello startups. Today I want to show you how you can deliver solutions 10x faster and save up to 19 hours per team member per week and work more agile. So uh, today I will show you how you can use Formaloo as the backend of your services, as the full backbone of your services and use its SDK, its API, how you can build an app with Formaloo, how you can connect your forms and look at your forms as the tables of your database, connect them together, and also uh, redirect data from one form to another, and uh, also how you can embed your forms inside your website, add widgets like chatbots into your website, and it's going to be a great video. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, to begin, I will start with connected forms. Uh, I'll create a folder inside my dashboard. Of course, you can change the color. I'll name my folder my startup. And here it is. You can also add folders inside your folders or add forms inside your folders. I'll create a form. Uh, I'll create a single step form and name it newsletter. You can hide the form title from here. Maybe you don't want it to be visible for your audience and it's just a name for yourself to uh, recognize your form. I'll ask for my audience full name and their email address. I'll make it required because I really need the email address to send, uh, to send newsletters. And you can change the submit button text or the success message after submit. You can add descriptions. You can add your logo up to uh, here or any other image you want. You can change the appearance, the colors. You can add the theme background, uh, Im an image background, and etc. So I'll save this and go to the form. Here is my form. It's very simple. So um, I want to connect this to another form. So I'll uh, go to my uh, folder and create another form. I'll make it multi-step just to show you how it looks like. I'll say this one is my um, feedback. I'll add a long text field. For example, it's just a, an example. You can change uh, the fields, the questions, etc., as you wish. Um, and here I will ask this question and save my uh, form. You can change the appearance. This is my form. I'm asking for feedback. I want people who uh, su subscribe for my newsletter to also submit the feedback form. But I want to send data from the newsletter form to my feedback form. So I'll get to my newsletter form and edit this. Here in general settings, uh, there is an option for redirect URL. I want people who submit my newsletter form to be redirected to my feedback form. You can change its URL so that you would uh, notice it or it would make more sense. It's right here. So I want this form to be redirected to feedback form after sub sub submission. And I want to send data to redirect URL. So I'll turn this on and save it. Uh, to send data, you need to do another step. Go, uh, go on another step too on my email. I should add an ID. Uh, the ID should be, uh, it's better to be um, numbers, letters, and underscore with no space because this is going to be used in the URL. I'll show you how it is. But um, I'll set uh, as a very simple ID for my field so it can be used in the URL and can be sent to the other form simply. This is my email address and I, I've set the ID of it to email and I'll save my form. So I have set my form to be redirected to another form and send data to another form, which is my feedback form. So I'll get back to my f uh, feedback form edit page. And here I want to save that data, save the email, which is sent to here. So I'll create a hidden field right here and set the ID to email. 
So it will save the emails which is sent from previous form to this form. And I'll save my form. Okay. So uh, now, now let's test it out. And push the submit button. As you see, it's redirected to my feedback form and it has sent my email address right here to uh, th this form. So when I fill this form and I'll submit it, now let's see how our data is stored. So let's see how our responses have changed. Uh, right here, I have one response on each of these forms. Let's get to the newsletter subscription form and get to the responses. Yep, here I have my name and my email address. In the other form, in the second form that I have sent data to it, it has saved my email address too. So as you see, this is my email address and it has been saved into this hidden field. And uh, you saw that this was not shown to the user but it's saved and I'm receiving feedback uh, without asking the user's email address multiple times. And it's a perfect solution for building any logic you want. Uh, speaking of logic, you can add logic to your websites for um, redirecting your users to multiple sources. I'll show you right away. Right here, I have one question here. Let me show you on the other form. On this form, I have two questions, so it's better to show you how it works. You can add logic to each of your fields. It's an uh, if else logic. So uh, you say if this field is equal to this value, then do this. Show a question, hide a question, um, and or after submit, go to link some link that you want. You can add uh, as many logic options, if else options, or you can say when the email was this, uh, or it doesn't matter what the email was, but always show this or hide this, or uh, after submit, go to this link. And uh, you can add multiple options here and redirect the user based on their email, based on uh, a specific question on your form, uh, and re uh, based on your uh, their answers, you can redirect them to different other forms. It's very simple to use. It's a perfect solution for building any logic uh, for your application, for your website, and etc. So it's that simple. And uh, to move to the next topic, I want to show you how you can uh, use your form on your website. So right here, there are uh, multiple integrations also. And uh, in the share tab, you can uh, use the iframe, the script or the widget. I'll show you how it looks. This is a code you can just copy and paste into your website. This is just how a script looks. It's right just like uh, iframe you can use it and use a widget which is like a chatbot on your website like this you can change its design you can make it a side widget and move it to the left to the right to the bottom left to the bottom right or uh, you can make it a full uh, full width widget just like this and you can make it single step uh, which shows all the questions in one page I like a uh, side widget on the left, so it's, um, it gives me the code. I copy it and paste it into my website, and, it's, and it works that simply and that perfectly. You can have more settings on your form editor as well to make it more efficient and more customized as you wish. So let's get back to our folder. The next uh, thing I want to show you is how you can use Formula as the backend of your database, as the backend of your services. Let me show you how a lookup field for, uh, works. So let's say you want to define the departments in your business once and use it in any other form you wish. So it's very simple to use. It's just you create this form and define all your departments. You can give access to this form uh, by simply going to your dashboard, your form, 
And here you have an access management. You can manage the access, read only, read and edit responses, full access plus edit and full access plus edit and delete and full ownership. And um, you can uh, give access to any email address or phone number who's in Formulu. And um, for example, for this department, um, you can give access to your HR and they can um, manage this form for themselves. So I'll submit this form right here. So I have submitted my form now and I'll show you how it is. I have six departments so far and I want to use this in other forms. Let's say uh, on my feedback form, I want to add a field that asks my audience, for example, the, my audience is my HR human resources. So I want to ask them, what department are you in? Uh, and I want to know uh, what departments are giving what feedback. So I'll, have, I'll add a lookup field. Uh, how lookup field works is it basically looks up data from another table, another form, and brings it here. Uh, for now, it's empty, of course, but um, I'll add a title to it. You can make it required if you wish. And uh, what form is um, it's my departments in my startup, which I just created. And um, I'll want to show the department name field here. So if you open it up, you will see that all data from that form is fetched and shown here. So it's that simple and I save it and I show you right away. This is how it is. Uh, it asks for some feedback and right here I have my departments fetched from another table and shown here. It's a perfect way to collect data and use it in other uh, parts of your database and your app and your services. So uh, I've shown you so far how you can connect forms, how you can deliver data from one form to another form, how to use logic, how to use data from another form and look it up and uh, use it in another form, in another field in your form. Now I want to show you how you can connect your full services and focus your team members, uh, engineering team members on the UI and the UX of your website, your services, and leave the back end to Formalu. You can just Google Formalu Startup 101 and here you will see uh, a blog post about it that completely describes how it is working. And also you can use this app. It's a good resource for seeing how it works. You can uh, use the formal GitHub. In formal GitHub, you can see the projects we have built open source. You can use formal USDK right here. It's a Python uh, library you can connect your services to. You can create forms, create tables, and use the logic, use the uh, basics of Formaloo in your website and um, use Formaloo as your dashboard. So yeah, this is how it works. And uh, if you required uh, more documentation on it, just email us at info at signformaloo.com. Also, if you had any questions, just comment down below and uh, or email us, of course. Uh, we'll respond to all emails in 24 hours. So yeah, subscribe to our channel and uh, like the video if you liked it. Looking forward to seeing you all again and bye for now.